Hi everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. We have a lot of juicy Royal Daily Tea to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. Markle apparently got Markled by Sophie Trudeau. And y'all know that has got to hurt. Girlfriend, that has got to hurt. But we all know karma is a calling and someone just got bit in the arse. So apparently Meghan Markle thought that her and Sophie Trudeau were besties once calling her a dear, dear friend. Now, if you remember back in November of 2022, Sophie had appeared on Meghan Markle's now defunct Flopcast archetypes where they looked pretty buddy-buddy, giddying like little schoolgirls by the pool, drinking their mimosas, having a girl day. They posed for photographs where they looked like they were in one of those little photo booths. They looked pretty chummy. But most recently, Sophie Trudeau, who is the ex-wife of the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, was asked during an interview for The Times, her relationship with Meghan Markle, and she completely downplayed the relationship. During the interview, they asked her about her relationship with Meghan, and she says, well, I know her, but we haven't really spent much time together. Woo! Now, Megan had previously said that Sophie Trudeau was a dear friend and that she used to send her positive meditations during her pregnancy and audio messages. And now Sophie's acting like, you know, I don't know her, kind of pulling a Mariah Carey. But the interesting thing is during the same interview, Sophie then turned the conversation over to Meghan Markle's sister-in-law, Catherine the Princess of Wales. She said that her heart just sank when she heard about the princess's cancer diagnosis. To me, that was a very subtle dig that she didn't want to focus on Meghan downplays her relationship and then goes, oh my gosh, but let's talk about Catherine. Let's talk about Kate. You know that's got to burn Meghan Markle. Now, many people believe that the relationship might have cooled due to Meghan's treatment of their mutual friend, Jessica Mulroney. And if you remember, Jessica Mulroney was on the phone with Meghan when Harry was proposing and she was like, oh my God, it's going to happen. And then the minute she got into a little bit of an online tiff in 2020, she got canceled. And so Meghan canceled Jessica Mulroney. She dumped her as a friend. And so apparently Sophie may not have liked the way that Meghan Markle treated their mutual friend, according to an inside source. But I do find it very weird how she's downplaying her connection to Meghan Markle. But I'm absolutely loving it. Let's not forget, Megan has been snubbed by quite a few A-listers most recently. Victoria Beckham had her 50th birthday party and Megan was not invited. Then Jeff Bezos and Lauren Sanchez had their birthday celebrations and once again, Megan Markle was not invited. I'm telling you right now, she is not well liked in Hollywood. Now this whole thing with her jam, the sending out 50 jars of her janky jam to these A-listers in Hollywood, it's not going well. So far, there's only about nine people who actually took to social media to promote getting her janky jam. This is reminding me of her 40 by 40 fiasco. Do y'all remember that flop that she did for her 40th birthday? The girl even made t-shirts, I'm sure it's collecting dust in her garage, but y'all, she really thought she was gonna do something. She was creating a movement, 40 by 40 in celebration of me turning 40, just like Obama and Mandela. Y'all remember that? She thought she was gonna get 40 influential women to go out and mentor 40 women for 40 days or for 40 minutes, whatever the heck it was. And only like seven or eight people actually did it. Again, she is nothing, okay? Megan, yes, thank. 
you're stank. Your jam is janky and you stank. Nobody wants your jam and nobody likes you. Now, a lot of these huge people, they get paid thousands of dollars to promote brands. What are you offering them? A, a, a really horrible jar that's probably disgusting, not healthy to eat, that's probably being thrown in the trash? For what? To say, look guys, I'm number 17, I'm number 50, I'm number one, I'm number two, on a list of 50 jars of jam that's not even available to the public. Woo woo! None of those people even know who Meghan Markle is. They know who she is because of her husband, but they don't know her. She doesn't have a relationship with any of these people. And they're like, well, what am I supposed to do with this janky jam? So Kris Jenner put it on her stories. Woo! For 24 hours. Chrissy Teigen. Ugh. She did a video. And let's be honest here. Chrissy Teigen is no help to anyone's reputation. But again, it's a bunch of C and D listers who are promoting her jam. Now, according to Neil Sean, two major celebrities returned Meghan Markle's jam. That's right. They did a return descender. I'm really secretly hoping one of them was Victoria Beckham. That would be absolutely golden. I would really like to see a commercial with David and Victoria Beckham having their morning breakfast, spreading jam from Buckingham Palace on their toast. But according to Neil Sean, two people were like, no, we don't want your janky jam. And they sent it back. So in my opinion, this whole jam thing is another 40 by 40. Nine people out of 50 posted it. Most of them were C and D list celebrities. Again, everything with Meghan Markle is a one way street. They all know she is a phony baloney. And in Hollywood, it's a you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. But what exactly is Meghan doing for anybody else? I mean, it takes a huge audacity to send your janky jam to all these people and you just expect them to promote you for free. It doesn't work that way in Hollywood. So I do find it hilarious how only nine out of 50 so far have actually come forward to promote her brand. And I really find it delicious how Sophie Trudeau markled Meghan Markle. Apparently she's getting a little taste of her own medicine. So what do y'all think about Meghan getting snubbed by Sophie Trudeau? And do you think we're going to have more celebrities coming out promoting her janky jam? Or do you think this is the end of the road for Meghan? Leave me your comments guys down below. Well, guys, that is all the royal news that I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.